I came to Bath as an undergraduate, firstly. I did my undergraduate maths here. And I came here for the reputation. Also, the campus is lovely, and it's just a good environment to work in. So just a whole multitude of things. Well, I've got to say the, um, the maths department, postgraduates, extremely uh, friendly and quite open to new people coming in. So there's, there's quite a few weekly events, just informal things like having a cup of coffee, talking about how it's going. So you've always got this kind of support network, and that's been great. Basically, the title of my research is looking at disease spread after natural disasters. So I'm a mathematician. Uh, you can model disease spread by separating your population up into different parts, depending on whether they're infected or not. And I'm looking at perturbing this entire population, seeing what happens after a natural disaster, with the hope that we can improve things somehow. Maybe there's some way of changing how the population is structured that we can make it more resilient to any problems in the future. Well, my research is twofold. It's a way of examining uh, a settlement and disease spread within that settlement. And it's a way, once you've examined that settlement, ways to make improvements. So we're looking for the, the optimum city. and. What we do is we look at the neighbourhoods individually and the way that they interact with other neighbourhoods. So say you had one neighbourhood and it had a hospital, but you can only afford one hospital in the city. Where's the best place to put that hospital so the maximum number of people get treated? There's many options you have after a PhD. You can stay in academia, you can think about um, doing a postdoc. And generally, through the course of your PhD, you'll go um, to a few conferences on your topic. Hopefully you're presenting something, so you're marketing yourself to the world of academia. I quite like to do something hands-on. I'm doing quite an applied part of mathematics. I'd like to help people with it. If it means that I'm doing more research, and I really enjoy research and developing this, it could be extending it to a, a very real-world situation. There could be a specific city. Or I'm doing something quite similar, but in a totally different avenue. People generally diversify on their topics. So it might be that I'm doing epidemiological modelling, but in a different situation. But I'm always going to bring something that I've worked on into my PhD as part of my background and hopefully build on it in the future. If I was talking to a prospective PhD student for maths, I'd say that we've got an extremely welcoming department. But there's always um, a chance to go and talk to someone else who's doing a PhD, and that is invaluable because there's always going to be times when you're struggling, there's always going to be times when you're finding it, it's going well and someone else might be struggling. It might be good to talk about what you're struggling on, what's going well. It also is really good to talk to someone who's doing something completely different. They might have some weird idea that you suddenly think is really important to what you're doing and having that breadth of conversational knowledge, it's brilliant. And as I said, welcoming, friendly. So if you are having a rough patch, there's someone to talk to, and they've probably gone through it. So there's always going to be that support there. And I've got to say, we're very well gender balanced, which is important, I think, as well.